All right, guys, so I found out something absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure that most people miss this. Uh, I'm going to break everything down. I actually found this out through my analysis of the, the gameplay. But here's all the clips. And of course, we're going to jump right into it. So without any further ado, this is Edward. And you're watching Boxing Fanatico. <music> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and play this for you. Just regular speed. These are all of the things that I grabbed and looked at so that I can break this down for you. This is one of the parts that everybody was complaining about, but we'll talk about that. Uh, and then, yeah, beautiful left hook. I'm talking about this, too. Uh, and that's Ash Habib's back, by the way. Everything that I grabbed there was for a reason, guys. All right? Everything that you just saw was for a reason. So, even when, with them holding the controller and everything like that. So, we're going to look at, of course, the entrances. <clears throat> One thing I'm noticing that this has been over and over again is that there's no robes. Either they may have them or not, but I haven't seen anyone come in with robes. That's from the pictures that I saw with the, uh, with the Forbes. Um the Forbes article that they did, I didn't see any robes uh, at all. And here, the entrance, you see uh, uh, Joey Joyce coming in, and you also see uh, David coming in, and no, no robes, right? No robes. Okay, so, but still, look at the graphics, though. Look at the graphics. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, okay, so here, this is what we need to look at a little bit. If you notice... If I go over here, if you notice this right here, stamina is absolutely completely drained for both Joe Frazier and Marciano. Uh, I heard a lot of people saying that Marciano wasn't turning on his punches, that they look like slap punches, but that is not true. Because right here, as he's throwing his hook, look, he's turning his body. He's turning his body to throw that hook. So there, that, that allegation that this is slap punches from Marciano, if you watch this quickly, you may have gotten that indication, but he really throws uh, his punches. He throws a jab right here. You see that uh, Joe Frazier is slipping, but everything looks awkward and weird because their stamina is probably completely drained, altering a lot of the movements that we're seeing here. Because at the first glance, I thought that this was like a prototype, but in reality, this is just a sepia uh, filter because you can see everything here is retro. You see Joe Frazier's name is retro. Even these indicators, the display where it says round five of 12, everything here is retro. Even this heart rate, BPM, beats per minute, which the heart rate is the biggest question mark out of here. Uh, because if we have a, a health marker, and we have a stamina marker, which are these bars here. And you'll see the health marker in, in a different uh, one, in one of the different clips on here. But we have that. Then what in the world is this BPM about? Is this an, adrel uh, an adrenaline type thing? What is it? I'm very curious to see that. Now, from here, we can see that there's damage to Rocky Marciano's left side and center side. As you can see that there's this little white bar here. So it looks like for the left side being damaged, we're going to have a, an outline colored in. Uh, so this might be yellow and goes to red. And, and for the uh, for the center, we're going to have this, this uh, white bar. And same thing for here. The abs are probably going to light up uh when when they're hurt down here so it'll be yellow and on the size if you go for the size it's going to probably be yellow here so it's probably going to be yellow like this whole thing here and then this will be yellow if you're damaging the center of the body uh so we're looking at the slips i do like how joe frazier slightly lifts his left hand up here right here looks pretty realistic there the uppercut yeah doesn't land doesn't land at all, really. Uh, so we need a little bit of collision detection refining there, but that's fine. This left hook is good. I'm noticing, too, that every single punch is shaking the camera. So hopefully there's a, an option to turn that off. But what I love is, look, look at that blur effect. See that blur effect that's going on right there with his hook? Beautiful. It looks like here he knocks Mickey Ward down. 
bare minimum, he knocks him down because if you notice Mickey Ward's life, and this is what I'm talking about, how everything was retro in the other one, and now look how everything looks here. Everything looks more modern. You see how this says Mickey Ward. Uh, you see how the life bars are, the health bars are different, even the beats per minute. If you look up here, if you notice, I'm gonna kind of move this a little bit. Pay attention to the beats per minute lines. It's red for Arturo Gotti, and it's blue for Mickey Ward. Now that could mean nothing more than just their, their corners. So Arturo Gotti's corner is red and Mickey Ward's corner is blue. Therefore, their heart rate beep is, is blue and red. That's all that can mean. But it's just to show how much more uh, detail it is if, it, if it's like uh, modernized as opposed to right here. They're bo they both have just white, just white heartbeats. Uh, so I, I'm still very curious about that heartbeat thing. But when he hits Mickey Ward, notice it doesn't light up. So there's probably a percentage buildup until you get them injured or hurt in those areas. Because if you once you see, if you can see he hits them and nothing lights up. One thing that I love is that in the uh, everything looks more fluid now. It looks stiff before. People say, oh, no, it looks stiff. Look at look at the fluidity of this shot right here. Bam. With his hand up. Look, this is fluidity right here. This is not stiff. The gloves look amazing. Amazing. Look at the shine on the gloves. The gloves have a really good size on it now. They look amazing. Uh, Arturo Gotti's shorts are short like they like they normally are. Uh, so are Mickey Ward's. Uh, they're not long like they were in the other one. And look at uh, Rocky Marciano shorts. They're shorter uh than uh than joe frazier who has short shorts so the short lengths have been uh something that's been uh you know worked on for sure but this this shot is beautiful right here this is a beautiful shot guys this is really good if you look at his hands they're up here they're not down here how they were before in an obscure position they're up right see he has his hands up the way it should be and it looked like uh, Mickey Ward was caught in the middle of trying to go for an uppercut. And it dropped him because, of course, you see how he only has this little bit of life. He gets caught. Boom. And it looks like he's falling. But, of course, we can't see that because you know, we don't. We they, they cut the camera off. Or they cut the clip off. So here, one thing I am noticing, though, is every shot does create some type of shake. So maybe we're going to really feel these impacts of these shots when they land. What I want to see is what it, does it look like when there's combinations put together. When somebody's throwing good combinations, I want to see what that looks like. So everything is land, everything that he's landing is shaking him. Boom, that shakes him. And here we have David's heartbeat is at 72, while Joe Frazier's is at 192. So it's kind of <clears throat> kind of interesting. One thing that I see here, so when Joe Frazier lands that shot right there, that's how much uh, it, it took away from him. If you if you see it, look at look at his look at his health, uh, stamina. You got to pay attention to these things because it's going to tell us what the pacing of these fights are going to be. That's how much it took away from him. About a half a bar for throwing that punch. He throws the uppercut. The uppercut takes another half. So it's about every punch landed is about a half bar. He hits him. Okay, so. He hits him here and nothing comes off. See, and now I'm I'm wondering, and he barely hit him here. He kind of grazed him, and I love David's reaction to it. it. He looked like he was grazed, like it wasn't that big of a deal. But nothing happened to Joe Frazier's stamina here. So now is this heart rate thing determining something in terms of the stamina? Because he's at 122 beats per minute right here. 119 beats per minute right here. He throws this uppercut. Now goes up to 126 beats per minute. But his health, his stamina is dropping. Now he's at 163 beats per minute. Throws that hook. Misses it. But his stamina is starting to recover, guys. Are they implementing some type of smart adrenaline tactic uh, or adrenaline system into this? That's what I'm trying to, you know, that's what I'm trying to figure out with this heart rate thing. I think it might be that, you know, I think it might be that. Now, this was my favorite part because it was so unique. The fact that he just ran up to his position and then lunged. Now, we could see that David Adelaide, he's hurt because 
you can't see the health bar on Joe Frazier. But all of a sudden, you see David Adelaide's heart, um, uh, uh, health bar here, and it's flashing. So obviously, he's hurt. There's damage going on. And then, bam. So it looks like you can have land some type of a perfect shot or a perfect kind of maneuver, and the mouth guard flying was just wow. <laughs> well, it looks like you could do some kind of a maneuver, some kind of a, a shot, right? And it's going to uh, just take them from, from 100 to 0 in an instant, depending on how powerful that is. And it looks like, you know, he's catching him coming off, almost like a pull counter from a distance as he just threw the punch. And then he comes in with a lunging punch. Very Joe Frazier-esque. This is a Joe Frazier move right here, guys. Joe Frazier is who does this. So this is also making me wonder... Are they actually implementing the realistic movements and, and animations for these fighters? Boom, knocks them out. So it looks like there's this is a mixture of an animation control right here, very realistic, into a ragdoll right there. Notice that? It goes into a ragdoll to give variety and, and, and differences in the knockouts. I think that's a masterful combination of animation and ragdoll. Best knockout I've ever seen, period, in any combat game. Just absolutely fantastic. Now, guys, here we are. <laughs> and I don't know if Steel City Interactive is going to be mad at me for this one. But listen, I watched this clip so many times. And I thought to myself, why in the world is this blurry? Why is this blurry? Why? Because you know why I said why is this blurry? I'm going to show you right now. Because obviously, and I know who's who, I can tell that he's Joe Frazier. I mean, I can tell that he's um, Rocky Marciano, and I can tell that he's Joe Frazier, and I'll explain why. But here, you can see that the, the trunks are white. You see his trunks are white. You can see he's he's a white person, and this is Joe Frazier. You can clearly see this is Joe Frazier, right? So if we move it forward, right? They're in the same match. This is the, this is the same match here. Same guy, same guy. You can see the top of the ropes are blue. Same everything. Ash Habib, by the way, right here. Move. Okay, so here we're clearly, same thing we see. Blue ropes. They're in the same arena. White floor, everything, or whatever this is. Same arena. And by the way, get this referee active. Steel City Interactive. What is happening? <clears throat> are you guys just keeping the referee there? Uh, with some type of coding so that we can see something specific and we don't see what the referee is doing. I'm hoping that that's what the case is. But look, clearly, Rocky Marciano. That is Rocky Marciano. Why would they blur? Why would they blur this if that's Rocky Marciano? I'm about to tell you guys right now. Look at what is going on here. So now it looks like He's moving. You see Joe Frazier. Pay attention to Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier is moving to his side. He's almost at the side of Rocky Marciano. It's very hard to see, but he's almost at the side of Rocky Marciano. And then Rocky Marciano, you see he's kind of to his side. Rocky Marciano ducks Joe Frazier's, uh, it looks like a, he was throwing a lunging right hook. He ducks it. Look at the position Look at the position where they end up. Look at where they end up. Look at this, guys. This is angles. Because it looks like he naturally moved to Rocky Marciano's right uh, left side. Naturally. He's naturally to his left side. But Rocky Marciano ducks and steps. And he's completely to his side. This is this is Joe Frazier's back, guys. Look at his legs. This is his back, and this is Rocky Marciano nearly behind him. The reason they may have blurred this was to cover up the fact that there are angles involved in this gameplay. Do you, do you guys understand how, how powerful that is? This is Joe Frazier's back, guys. The camera had to turn. The camera, look at the camera. The camera is constantly spinning, moving. He is nearly behind Joe Frazier. He's Rocky Marciano. You can see this. 
That's Rocky Marciano. They're in the same arena that we've been seeing them playing. He's nearly behind Joe Frazier. And he's laughing, this guy, as he's he's Rocky Marciano. He's probably laughing because he's like, ha ha, I did that angle thing that we keep in secret. Do you know what I mean? But look, 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 look at his feet. Look at his feet. He's behind them. Look, boom, and he moves. He does that sidestep. Don't forget, guys, what we saw is also in conjunction with what we've seen with the Alpha Movement trailer. Footwork is a thing. Footwork is a thing. If you just took this in the context of what we saw, yeah, whatever. They're moving forward. They're moving back. But we, but you're forgetting. They have an insane amount of foot movement uh, systems applied to this at the same time. So he's he's there. I wanted to look at the controls of what he was doing. I wanted to pay attention to the things that they were doing. Here you just see uh, Joe Frazier move forward. And you see that uh, from the Alpha Movement trailer, those little head movements, you see that happening with Ro Rocky Marciano there as Joe Frazier moves towards him. And Joe Frazier is moving like Joe Frazier. Got that head down, got that like super forward movement thing. Uh, Rocky Marciano jumps back here. This is where I know who's who. This is where I find out who's who because you got to look at the controllers, guys. You got to look at the controllers. He's obviously moving away. So he's Joe Frazier. And he's going to press, I believe, this button here. And you're going to see a foot shifting motion happen with him. And then he's going to throw the punch. And you'll notice that he's Rocky Marciano. So right here, he presses it down. Right there. Look at his fingers. Presses it down. There's a shift that happens with Rocky Marciano's feet. Look at the shift. Boom, boom, boom. And then he throws the punch with his analog stick. You can see him doing it with the analog stick right there. Boom. So that's how I know he's Rocky Marciano right here and he's joe frazier as all he's doing is moving backwards and holding this button it appears it could be i'm not sure but we know that this button is probably so now we know that this button right here is probably has something to do with this shifting of his feet bam 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 look at that bam bam beautiful and then he goes for the body i don't understand and i just this referee is so annoying <laughs> why is he there but i think it is uh i don't know i think he's all he's there for some for i think they coded him there for the just this showcase all right so look at the buttons that he's pressing now we i don't think he's taunting or trying to low blow or trying to do anything like that but he's pressing this button he's pressing the back button and we know that he pressed this button when he did that leg shift how many types of modifiers or types of movements are that w can we do? By the way, they're playing with an Xbox 360 controller, which I thought was hilarious. But how many things can we do? Why is he pressing this button, that button, and that button? And we know this button created some type of shift in his feet for him to throw that punch. Because he, he shifted his feet and then threw the punch. But why? This is what we need to, we need to know more of. So this is why I wanted to show, and he's obviously obviously using uh, the uh, the analogs to punch. That that's that's very obvious. This is why I wanted to show this this piece here. But here, guys, this is the thing that I know everybody missed. You can see the camera is rotating, right? Joe Frazier gets to a crazy angle on on Rocky Marciano, throws the right hook. Rocky Marciano gets behind look he's behind him basically that's why this guy's laughing over here because he knows what he just did and they're like bro you can't do why'd you do that we can't show that we're just gonna blur it out but they made a mistake because boxing fanatical is a beast when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to looking at this stuff so i could i could i'm clearly seeing guys an angle positioning on on joe frazier right there so this is what people notice, these kind of things. And yes, they do need to fix kind of the collision detection. The only thing that I didn't like from my initial visual is this right here. But after seeing that both of their staminas are low, their movements are probably altered because of that. Also, notice the ropes are moving. So there isn't any staticness in the ropes as what, I, I, what we saw from the Alpha Movement trailer. And keep in mind, this is early access, guys, so it could still be improved upon. His head slipping is, is 
okay is pretty good it's like you know kind of uh, slick uh, but but there's also an awkwardness to this and i think a lot of it has to do with his back being towards the 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 ropes so he can't really move too much and it's not really even towards the ropes it's towards the corner so he can't really move too much and the fact that uh they're both completely drained of stamina but in terms of rocky marciano's punches they're good to me i mean he turns his body here you know uh, he throws a, a nice jab as he lifts. Look, look at how he lifts his right hand, throws that jab. That's a very good jab. And then he throws a hook and then gets caught with an uppercut that doesn't really land, which that needs to be refined a little bit. And it, it's a really good hook and hook. And I love the blur effect because that creates that, that feeling that you see on TV. This is a perfect left hook. This is a perfect hook left hook right here i don't i don't want to hear nobody complaining about this left hook this left hook is absolutely masterful gets him gets him boom and then and then right here his heart goes from 126 to 163 he throws his punch and his health his his energy is going up so that that might be some type of an adrenaline thing guys that might be some type of an adrenaline thing and then that flash knockdown right there happens sorry about that guys that flash knockdown happens with the mouth guard flying out of his mouth and he collapses into a ragdoll unbelievable so these are the things that i saw guys uh yeah i'm pretty sure that <clears throat> people miss that uh so i'm i i had to uh, talk about it i had to show it uh but yeah man the, the the thing that wowed me the most is the thing that we couldn't even really see guys the thing that wowed me the most is this right here Watch this. Side steps, Rocky Marciano. And Rocky Marciano ducks it and goes right behind him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And now they just have to confirm and reveal what we saw. Like, this is clear as day, what we're seeing here. It's clear as day. Come on. He's right behind. Look at his legs. You can see uh, Joe Frazier's legs. They didn't blur the legs good enough. They only blurred the top. <laughs> And it's blurred, guys. It's blurred when we know that this is Rocky Marciano and Joe Frazier, and they're blurring it. Obviously, this is some type of tactic movement that they wanted to keep uh, keep hidden. But you can't do that when, when Boxing Fanatico is looking at every single detail. <clears throat> and here you see that he kind of hops back right here. He hops back, and Joe Frazier is moving like Joe Frazier. That's the crazy thing. Hands Joe Frazier, head Joe Frazier, the way he's stepping forward, Joe Frazier. <clears throat> and he puts his guard up and moves back. But this is another thing that I like. Bam. Look at this sh the foot shifting. Boom, 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 boom. Guys, we can we we need to see more of this to see to see what what to expect. Remember the alpha movement trailer. That is in conjunction with what we're seeing now. So if you combine all of that stuff. So far, this is uh, leaps and bounds above anything we've ever seen before. And if you can do angles like what we saw in that blurry scene, oh my goodness. All right, so that's all I have. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, notification bell because you know that I'll be on top of it. And when they do that, that in two weeks, they do that reveal again. You know Box Fanatical going to be live streaming it. So hop onto the Box of Fanatical live stream. I'm going to do it here on YouTube. My live stream will be here on YouTube. We're going to have fun, man. I went crazy. How, why would they start it with Terrence Bud Crawford? That just literally, oh, that nearly KO'd me. Nearly KO'd me. But uh, yeah, it was super fun. So we're going to do it again in two weeks when they reveal fighters. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Hit that, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, hit that like button too to get this out so people can see what I see uh, from this video breakdown. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.